Um, I moved to Canada when I was 12 years old. to learn English. This was a very bold decision for my parents to make because including my parents, my family didn't really speak English. My dad was jobless and it was very shocking to me because my dad was a semi-famous writer in Korea. He was also a professor at a university and he also had his own business. So the mindset I had about studying was completely different from normal students. Normal students wanted to study to get better grades, but for me, I wanted to study in order for me to protect my family and survive in Canada. some of the things that not many 12 year old kid goes through. Because I had to go up against students who spoke English for their whole life, I knew that I had to work twice or triple the amount of times harder than other students to make my life in Canada successful and to fulfill my parents' dream of having better education. Back then I was very disappointed and heartbroken, but instead of being sad, I decided to use that as fuel. which were the two universities I told my teacher that I wanted to go into. I've been in Canada for seven years and I can definitely tell you that it was pretty dynamic. To every one of you guys who are watching this video, whether if you're in a similar situation as I was or not, don't let anyone tell you what you can or you can't dream of. There are gonna be people who's gonna be doubting your dreams, but instead of being discouraged, prove them wrong. Show what you're really capable of. Go out there and prove them wrong. <laughs>